So in this video I'm going to be telling you how to install Windows XP into VirtualBox. This may be ideal if you're using Windows 7 and your CPU isn't capable of virtualization in order to run Windows XP mode. There's two things that we'll need. VirtualBox, if you haven't got that installed already, and a copy of Windows XP. Either an ISO file or a CD. In this video I'm going to be using CD with Windows XP Service Pack 3 Professional 32-bit. So let's get working. First off, after you've installed VirtualBox, you should be greeted with this screen that's totally blank because we haven't got any virtual machines yet. So we're going to click on New and this wizard will pop up. We'll click on Next We'll enter a name for our virtual machine, so I'll call it Windows XP Pro. We need to select our operating system, which for all intents and purposes is Microsoft Windows, and then Windows XP. After you've done that, click on Next. Here what we need to do is allocate how much of our system memory or RAM we need want our virtual Windows XP to use. I'm going to put half of my system RAM, which is 2 gig. I'll enter 1024 MB. If you have more system memory, you may input more. After we've done that, we're going to click on Next. All we need to do here is make a hard drive. So with Create New Hard Disk, selected and the boot hard disk checked we'll click on next and then this will bring up our create new virtual disk wizard so click on next and what you'll see here are two different types of storage dynamically expanding storage and fixed size storage what I'll do here is just do a little explanation overview of what these mean dynamically expanding storage is basically where the virtual hard drive or disk file image is created at the minimal size and then grows automatically over time as more space is needed by the virtual operating system up to the specified maximum. This has an advantage that the disk space on the host is not used until it's needed but can result in slower performance for the virtual machine if it needs to be enlarged quickly. Fixed storage on the other end is where it's made to the maximum size. It pre-allocates all the requested disk size regardless of whether it's immediately needed or not. But the results are improved in right performance. So what we'll do here is select fixed disk storage then click on next. The name of our virtual hard disk will be automatically selected and put into the virtual box default folder. After which what we need to do here is now select how much of our hard drive space we want virtual Windows XP in this video to use. What I'm going to do is just leave it at 10 gig you can do more if you want. We'll click on next and then finish and just leave it a couple of minutes to create that hard disk. So now that our disk is finished being created what we'll do is click on finish and you'll see the our machine will pop up here. If we go to settings we need to sort out a few things. Under the system tab what we need to do is just click on hardware clock in UTC time and if you're using a pen tablet just enable abs absolute pointing device. Next we'll need to click on display. We need to check enable 3D acceleration and enable 2D video acceleration. 
for our video memory what we need to do is put it all the way to 128 if you can of course <coughs> next we need to do is click on storage from here we need to click on CD DVD device and we need to select E which is my physical CD drive next what we need to do is click on audio make sure that Windows Direct Sound is enabled and that we're using ICH AC97 click on network and make sure that it's attached to NAT uh, we don't need to bother about serial ports or USB or share folders quite yet so click on OK and now start the virtual machine with your CDN of course and it should boot up okay now here's the not so scary part if you've never done this it's the easiest pie so what we'll do is we'll press enter on the keyboard to install onto this unpartitioned space which is our drive what we need to do is format the partition using the NTF file system and then wait for it to format after it's formatted it'll copy the files to the virtual hard disk and then it'll eventually reboot to where we'll need to install Windows XP so now this will begin installing Windows XP it says it'll take approximately 39 minutes but it'll probably take less than that depending on your system specs so just let Windows XP install from here so now we're in Windows XP we just need to do a couple more things of course one of them being install updates if you want to but for now what we'll do is click on this devices tab here and install guest editions after this pops up we just need to click on next click on I agree next check DirectX 3D support and then click on install what this is going to do is install uh, the necessary video drivers so that we can make Windows XP full screen and stuff like that to conform to our screen resolution instead of having it as this little tiny box and it does a bunch of other things as well like make sure that your mouse and keyboard are integrated properly so you don't have to press the right control button to get out of this virtual box so what we'll need is to reboot let's do that okay so what we can do from here now is just close this main window behind our running virtual machine what we're going to do is maximize this right click on taskbar uncheck lock the taskbar drag it all the way to the top or bottom depending on where your taskbar is or side if you even want click on lock the taskbar now what we need to do is click on machine and enter seamless mode it'll tell us here that if we want to get out of seamless mode what we need to do is press host and L which is the Windows key or start key on the keyboard and L so let's click on switch and we can see here now we have Windows XP's start menu integrated and taskbar integrated with our Windows 7 operating system or Vista if you're doing this in Vista you can go to computer and I'll pop up with Windows XP's computer and such so I hope you've liked this video until next time thank you for watching and goodbye